Hey guys, thanks for joining us here at All on TV StarCraft 2 Commentary Slide and Legend here continuing our series of casts and our day of StarCraft on this beautiful Sunday uh, eve, well, early morning now I guess. Yeah, uh, it was actually a beautiful day in Seattle. I think it was like 70 degrees. Yeah, I mean, for those of you in other parts of the country in the world, 70 degrees might not sound very <laughs> warm, even chilly, but in the uh, the wonderful city of Seattle, that's uh, practically a summer, uh, yeah, a summer day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in April, 70 degrees is actually a it's gorgeous day. Anyways, we had our entire day was filled with StarCraft. Yep, watching StarCraft, uh, the IPL, of course, uh, playing StarCraft. Yeah, and we now played we're... over 20 games almost. Well, it's probably not a whole lot of summer viewers, <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, and of course also bringing you these uh, hopefully fantastic casts, which we uh, should get to actually. Introducing the players right quick here, our, not blue, wait, what's going on? The colors are switched. Yeah, colors are switched. That's kind of weird. Okay, well, so you guys will go ahead. Actually, it's not switched, it's blue versus red, I guess. Whatever. Well, no, but the name's up here. Eh, eh. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna go with the uh, name or the minimap colors and the screen colors, I guess. So, our. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <You're> Alright. <laughs> Sorry. Without much further ado, our blue Zerg here, uh, Goody, who actually. No, actually, it's TSL Young. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Yeah, your color's throwing you off. God damn it. Yeah, okay. Not good. He yeah, so Hyun, which, uh, Legend, if you would please tell us uh, right quick about him. Yep, he was a teamer in Brood War, which is a huge accomplishment. Mm -hmm. And he switched to um, uh, StarCraft 2, of course, um, not too long ago, about six months ago, I say. Yep. And he made it into Code A, but he went straight down to Code B on his first <laughs> match. But, you know, just qualifying for Code A is no small feat, of course. Yeah, so definitely keep an eye out for this uh, old-timer. Uh, you know, we'll definitely, or hopefully, you know, see more of him in the future. Meanwhile, his opponent, uh, the foreigner, the German, yep. Terran. German Terran, the best Terran coming out of Germany. I guess because TLO is technically um, well, a Zerg player. He's a Zerg, he's yeah. full-time. Yep, and it's going to be Goody, which I actually haven't seen uh, too much of really since uh, the er earlier days of StarCraft 2. Yep, he just participating in um, you know small and big uh, European tournaments mostly, not really flying to um, Asia or uh, America. I don't actually watch uh, that many European tournaments, um, but... Yep, I mean, he's good. He's got to be good. I mean, uh, he has to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, so it looks like it's going to be uh, Reactor Hellions. Uh, coming out, I believe, or or wait, what's going on? It seems pretty far from the barracks. So unless it's gonna float that into making a reactor, but yeah, I mean maybe some kind of a bench. Nope, just gonna make a, a hellion coming out of a non-reactor uh, factory, and he's gonna make a starport. Well, maybe just some sort of a one-one-one. We did see uh, was it earlier today in the IPO, uh, one of the Terran players in a TV. Z went for Hellion Marine Banshee. Yeah, I mean, it, that's definitely a possibility here. Maybe he he, he wants to drop Hellion into the main base of TSL Hyun, known as also My Way, if you guys didn't know. I like Hyun better. <laughs> <laughs> My Way is a little too... I don't know what the word is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> without, without sounding mean, I guess. <laughs> anyway, a couple of uh, line of links coming in. Checking for an expansion. Does not see any. Uh, checking to see the marine numbers. Only sees three. So he can probably safely assume uh, that, you know, there's some sort of tech or whatnot is going on behind this. Still on one gas. Uh, of course, he only needs the gas to produce a medevac. And I guess we're just going to see a Hellion draw. Yep, and... TSL Hyun is a severely supply block, staying at 44 for a very long time. No overlord on the site, and just the uh, just, uh, overlord popping out. <laughs> but you have a three queens out of uh, Hyun here. Well, I mean, three queens is, you know, pretty standard. One for each hatch and another, a third for uh, the creep spread. So, uh, you know, I think he'll be, well, unless he's expecting some sort of airplay, <laughs> uh, I think he'll be good to go. Uh, instead of the Hellions, actually, it's going to be the Marines. And it's almost like a, uh, a Slayer's t Terran build. <laughs> yeah, like he's, he's going to just drop, uh, have the Hellions in the edge of the base while he drops the, and he does the elevator push. Yep. 
And whenever he pushes in, he's gonna be able to back up to the wow, Hellions. Wow, four queens. Whoa, he's actually lifting the Hellions up here too. And that many queens, smartly uh, targeting the uh, Manavac. It goes on so quickly and doesn't lose a single queen. Nice transfuser. Uh, the drones are lining up though, however. Uh, looks like a couple did go down there. Uh, not too impactful yet, I think. Uh, another one going down. And how much damage is this going to be able to do? Because, of course, the units will be cleaned up. Only Queens right now. Uh, not the best <laughs> unit, obviously, to be using against... Uh, oh, the transfuse. I guess he didn't have a transfuse where it is. He does not enough, no, have enough energy. No, he does not. And a lot of lost mining time, too. How many kills are these Hellions to get? The Marines were not too impactful this attack. Yep. Uh, let's see the worker's kill count. He was able to kill nine workers. That's more than I expected. But he's got those, a lot, all, uh, all the Marines and Hellions. Yeah, so, nine workers and two queens for a medevac full of uh, Hellions, Marines, and a medevac. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks like these Hellions are finally will go down. Good. He's still being a little bit annoying with them. Of course, you know, why not? <laughs> <laughs> it does keep the queens from doing their injects and larva or and the bane should follow up. Yep, and which of course the queens are pretty well prepared to. He's actually dropping <laughs> a mule. That's not a matter mule. It's to repair the uh, banshee. Of course. Oh. oh my gosh, he's gonna waste the mule here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he wanted to get that repaired end. Uh, yeah, no. I guess he got some repairing, but not really that much. Oh, oh. No. oh. oh. and losing the banshee too. A uh, complete waste of. Uh, everything there, the Banshee and the Mule. Um, very, very sloppy play from Goody, actually. I, I, would, I would just say I'm disappointed, actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess he denied tons of mining here, but actually TS Lion definitely should be sending some of the drones back to the main base, and he finally does so, and I think he's sending way too much. I mean, he is oversaturated anyway on two base, or at least at uh, capacity anyway on both bases. Uh, and he should be looking to take his third soon. We are at the nine and a half minute mark, so uh, pretty calm to see that third base uh, Spire actually now being started up uh, for Hyun. Yep, and the very fast third base coming out of Goody here. He's playing very Korean SK, like this is like every Terrans do against um, the Zerg. Well, to be fair, uh, Korean. A lot of strategies, you know, often end up coming out from Korea and kind of migrating their way over uh, to, you know, uh, the foreign, the foreign uh, SE2 scene. Uh, so it's common, I guess. I mean, and yeah. this is, this is a, of course, a common build that uh, was used very often, uh, like I said, by Slayer's players um, a couple months ago. Yep, uh, it's really hard to scout that very fast third <laughs> command center, and that if you can secure your third uh, faster even than a Zerg, I mean, you're just so ahead. Yeah, definitely, and. Uh, what was that you were pointing out to me earlier? A bunch of SCVs queued up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Overseer will get taken out, uh, sees the Vikings, which he might be wondering, I mean, what are the Vikings for? I guess he's not just clear up the overlords that's just flying across the maps and stuff. What interests me though is that he's making several Vikings, not just a single one. I mean, cause it makes sense to make the single Viking, right? To clear out overlords here and there around the map, but... Any more than that, I feel like it might be a little bit of a waste. Yep, six and mutas are on the way, so that that's a tech choice of uh, TSL Hyun. And he's even making a Roach Horn. Yeah, he's actually double expanding now, taking his third and fourth base at the same time. Bold move uh, by Hyun. He should probably break down those rocks at some point to help it, uh, I guess, to help make it easier to secure Blue Flame Hellions and... <laughs> Uh, 12 minutes earning speed about to complete. <laughs> yep, I guess he did scout that um, Goody is actually going mech against, and that's why he put that uh, Roach Warren down. Goody was very well known uh, for his mech play uh, earlier in the StarCraft 2 days, uh, when maybe it wasn't you know super common to see. Yep, supply block hit severely, so he's putting down four... Even six, <laughs> six, six supply depots at once. Six supply depots, two Thors uh, being started, which is none too soon considering these Mutalisks are coming here. The Vikings actually been kind of useful, uh, heavily damaging several of those Mutalisks and are not going to be able to get them, of course. Yeah, Vikings are actually a surprisingly good defensive unit um, along with a couple of turrets. Yeah, if you can have a, a squad of Marines under there, yeah, definitely. Um, it, they're often able to uh, pick off a couple of fleeing Mutalisks. We're at 75 drones right now for yeah, uh, TSL. Yeah, droning up like a crazy person nine more on the way and three more factories so goody really going for just a pure pure uh mech heavy play and save for those original marines it's gonna be hellions tanks and thors all the way baby yep and the hun decided that the way to you know counter this mech play is the bunch of roaches so he's upgrading for the um carapace not i'm sorry uh missile attack for roaches and getting getting the speed upgrade for roaches as well Oh yeah, you know, Mass Roach, that's uh, often, you know, just 
the, the, the tried and true way to counter a mecking Terran. And uh, I guess the question is going to be when is Goody going to you know move out of his uh, three bases? I guess he, after he secures a third base, and then maybe he's going to hit that 175 army ish, then he can move out. Right. So. It, is he going to move out at, you know, yeah, the 150, you know, sub 160, maybe 170 uh, supply mark, or is he going to wait till he's fully maxed and starting to, uh, and then starting to bank uh, resources? Yeah, I mean, we'll find out, and we have meterless really not doing much throughout the game. I guess he's not making nope. many more meters. Um, Just the six meters. Yep. And, you know, of course, the best way to deal again, deal with the mech army is just tech straight to a brew lord. It's so hard to deal with as a mech army. But you know, it's it depends on when Goody decide to move out. Yeah, and uh, looks like uh, path pathogen glands are now going to be started. Be sure to see the uh, investors being timed out with that, and continuing to produce a host of roaches. We are now at twenty nine roaches uh, for Hyun, and I don't know. Uh, looks like Hyun. Well, I guess the issue is Goody is going to essentially be going to be letting Hyun uh, macro up off a of four base and a four base. Very, of course, a very scary thing indeed. These brooches and Mutilus now moving in here to the third base. Going to see how much damage they can do. Uh, Goody's army is in position. However, if he can uh, get a couple of these tanks sieged up, yep, he should be good to go. Hyun going to save uh, actually almost every single one of his units. Yep. He has 47 roaches on the field at this point. Wow. Yeah, he's actually just sitting right outside the range of the siege tanks here. <laughs> oh, being very annoying there. And it looks like we are going to finally have a battle. Tanks are sieged up. Thor's oh Hellions. And the Mutalist just going to their deaths. Canceling the command center as well. Uh, Roach is, of course, very cheap. So this, I, th I think it is still a very cost-effective uh, trade for Hyun. Yeah, but he ended up losing only, you know, like, like four or five Hellions and a couple tanks. Um, against that many roaches, so really not a bad trade for Goody here. I guess. Okay, well, here's uh, the rest of Goody's army. You saw about six, four, four, yeah, four or five tanks uh, rolling up now. And Goody looks like he's getting ready to uh, maybe move out onto the map a little bit, finally. Yep, and not really much of an upgrade coming out of um, Goody, just working on to make a lot of units out of those six factories. And I wonder how uh, Hyun's got to deal with this army. It's very scary when the mech army is all together. Oh yeah, definitely. And Goody is uh, dropping down a fourth command center right behind this, and he's gonna start to uh, leapfrog his way up onto the Zerg creep. Looks like. Yep, using that Raven Whoa. as a spotter for those um, creep teamers. Very smart choice. I'm saying like every turn should be getting uh, at least one Raven against any other race. Oh yeah, why bother using uh, scans and whatnot for the damage? I'm using the scan. Okay, <laughs> well, <why>? right. <laughs> you might have forgotten him. Uh, actually, counterattack now going to the natural of uh, Goody, and only Hellings to defend uh, this. Giant thing. Oh, just kidding. There are tanks in the back there, uh, <laughs> taking out a few of the roaches. Uh, SCV is now coming out too, and this counter attack I think is pretty effective. However, the ant, uh, what is uh, Helen's answer for this giant mech ball outside his base? Yeah, I'm not so sure. This tank on the high ground doing tons of damage. Oh, <laughs> oh finally, uh, finally gets yeah. one shot. <laughs> These Hellions tickling the roaches. And now we're on a full-on base trade scenario. Looks like these oh my four Vikings can actually take out entire herd of overlords just sitting in. The oh my gosh, this is. Hyun's actually rebuilding as a road for him creative here. Here, uh, assuming that he's gonna, he's already here. He knows he's gonna lose his main base, and these roaches now making their way uh, down to the uh, third and production facilities of Goody. How much damage can he uh, get done? Yeah, of course, Hyun has a lot of money saved up, so that's the that might be the difference. He's actually making a planetary next to his third base. Yeah, it's actually a really that, smart choice. Uh, I don't know if it's going to finish in time with that many roaches. They might get focused down if Hyun is paying attention. No, he actually leaves it, so that will finish and uh, secure the third base for him. How many uh, production facilities can uh, Hyun, or yeah, could he get here before... Oh, it supplies very even now, and <laughs> the fourth base of Hyun is uh, under assault. Yeah, I can't believe he actually let the main base go where all the tech structures are here, but you know, he's just going for that uh, expansions on the side of uh, Goody is, and TSL, TSL Hyun is actually up in supply. Oh, and there's the infamous uh, Terran liftoff. He's gonna go out and get the heck out of there with his uh, flying structures. Save what he can, and hopefully re rebuild to fight another day. This army, though, just rampaging through uh, the entirety of Hyun's uh, defenses. Yep, and yeah, it's, this is gonna be really close.
close call. Oh, oh shooting, you should, you should lift that. Def oh, there we go. Uh, Goody, of course, good enough. Definitely good enough to uh, pay attention to that. And a lot of spines coming up to try and buy time, but that's not going to be nearly enough against uh, this mech army that basically, you know, I tell you, triples uh, the firepower of uh, Goody's army, or Hyun's army. Yep, actually, this ban oh, he oh. this banshee could prove really useful if there's only roaches left over. Yeah, fortunately, so he doesn't actually have cloak for that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would be really important for him to uh, save this. drone massacre, and yeah, remain there, the roaches are not coming up to uh, clean out what's left of Hyun's base. Yep, and he should be clearing all the supply depots on here, and even more roaches coming out. Uh, yeah, the main, as well as the 5th, uh, actually, still alive for some reason, <laughs> of Hyun. I'm trying to throw out more uh, spine crawlers, but I think Goody's army is going to be able to take out the uh, main, no problem. Yep, supply is actually in Hyun's favor, but there are a lot of drones that's going to go down. Wow. Oh my gosh. I mean, again, it's really just the army of uh, Goody. How does Hyun deal with this? Uh, he is now, for the third time in this game, <laughs> Uh, building his uh, roach <laughs> warren and yeah, it's building over and over and over. Uh, basically, and look at this planetary. Oh, he's going straight. He needs to use the rest of his roaches. I don't think. I think those roaches actually got drawn in accidentally. And looks like now uh, Hyun is finally going to go in. Nice micro. Wow, pulling back the weakened group of roaches. And this planetary goes down with fairly minimal losses. Yep, and all the overlords going to go down to these three Vikings. This is. Okay, I mean, Goody should have this game, like, just army composition-wise. Hyun uh, should not be able to beat Goody's uh, forces. Yep, and there's, of course, there's no way for um, Hyun to really attack these flying buildings that uh. <laughs> Terran player has. Yep, definitely, and uh, how many, what are, what's the warden count? Two drones and three SCVs. <laughs> Uh, let, what are all those drones and SCVs though? Um, both players need to start rebuilding uh, their infrastructure fairly soon. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's using their Raven and uh, it's actually an auto turret to clear up this creep teamer on this island here. He's gonna float this uh, command center over there. Oh, such a smart choice by Goody. Who would have thought of that? That's very intelligent. Yeah, just sure. Having their Raven. Oh, oh does not want to lose that overseer. Every unit so important and does go down. He moves him back into range uh, for some reason. There and yeah, just as he said in a legend, Hyun's gonna be securing uh, that island expansion, and there is not a thing uh, that good or Hyun's gonna be able to do it for about for about it for a while. <laughs> yep, he does have enough minerals to build a hatchery. Exactly, but... zero minerals right now. <laughs> That's uh, crazy for Goody. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it looks like um, I don't yeah. Once again, Goody, I don't think there's any way he can lose this game at this yep. point. Of course, these four changelings can do so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just chilling, uh, pretending to be Marines. Uh, it looks like uh, Hyun is out, or yeah, Hyun is out on the map, uh, searching for you know more flying buildings and the like. He's not gonna find any. I wonder if he suspects that the island expansions are being taken. Yep, I think he kind of scouted with the overlord that was here um, before the turrets were able to take the overlord down. Oh, he does actually. No, he doesn't actually not. I mean, he saw the or t turrets going down. Okay, so, so he, he can assume. Can assume, assume yeah. And the creep is now receding far enough to the point where the command center can finally uh, land down at the island there and just floating buildings everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, and very smartly having a raven with his army so that burrow roaches cannot sneak up on him. Do the roaches actually have a tunneling claws? Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, we haven't seen that just yet this game. Of course, that might be a tribute to the fact that there is a raven out on the map. And. Yeah, it's kind of we just kind of reset the game here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it, pretty crazy. Three drones versus three SCVs and four mules, so it's like three drones versus twenty SCVs. Oh, I guess he has too many, so much supply, so he has to, I mean, make a supply depot somehow. Well, that's the thing, right? I mean, where is he gonna build? Okay, let's oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, with all these tanks, I mean, Jesus, there's no way that there's gonna be a roach bust up there. And the Hellions now coming out scouting. They're gonna, he's gonna lose them, but gets the vital scout up and sees that uh, Hyun has dropped down a hatchery down to where his former uh, third was. Yep. I mean, Hyun can play a turtling game where he can wait for those tanks to kind of move out and then just catch them on siege. But you know, Goody in a commanding position here with uh, that hidden um, island expo. Yeah, definitely. Um... Actually, there's something going over to the top island expo. Is that this Raven again? Just the Viking, I guess. Oh, okay. Just scouting around, I guess, to clear, 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 clear out as many overlords as possible. 
is uh, Goody here. And Actually, catching these old would be huge. No, definitely they would. Yeah. Uh, every mineral counts, and you know you don't want to have to be rebuilding a supply. Uh -oh. oh, does find those overlords, and look at this Hyun splitting those overlords into three different directions. <laughs> Very nicely done, so that uh, well, actually, yeah, so that the uh, Viking can't kill him just or as quick. And you know. Goody, I would say that he could actually move out with his army and try to go down in there and take out that force or that hatchery. Yeah, this is like, I mean ridiculous. Like eight tanks with two Thors and a couple of Marines. Ooh, the tank fire did go off, so uh, you know, Gun knows what's up. <laughs> uh, that uh, oh, Goody is. Words. Well, I mean, where's the anti-air? <laughs> eleven kills for this Viking. That's more. And, oh, not eleven kills for this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of it's been Overlord Massacre, this game here, and I, I don't know, are we actually going to see both players just sit back and like just remax or something? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if he can get like a one Banshee out, the game's over pretty much. Oh, that's true, huh? Yeah. Interesting that he's not trying to do it. He's got so much gas. Oh, wow. He does put down a tech clip. I don't know why he just didn't switch it with his factory. But anyways, <laughs> even though there's more, more, more Overlords here... Hyun's really running out of options at this point. Yeah, definitely. There isn't even the queen in production. I mean, every overlord, he could literally park. Oh, uh, he's going to go up here? No, this is his last chance. He knows it. And these tanks are going to tear these roaches to shreds, not even making it <laughs> into the... Uh, yeah, no, like I was going to say, he could literally just park his Vikings over the hatchery, kill every overlord that comes out, and that's just GG. Uh, yeah, wow, weird situation, but, you know, uh, definitely Goody uh, was ahead. Uh, in most respects. Yep, Goody playing just very patiently and then just moving out at the right time and then just making a very smart choice, moving his... Um, very creative. <laughs> yeah, even just that having a one Raven just really paid off. Definitely, for sure. Uh, so that'll be it for this weird and kind of long game. And yeah, we will see you guys next time. So be t uh, sure to stay tuned for future videos. See you guys later.